Today's video is mainly about turning this day sky into evening sky in Lightroom app. So first I will try to correct the perspective of this image. You can see the electric pole looks a bit slanted. So I will go to the geometry menu and here using the vertical slider I will try to straighten it. You can refer the grid, nearest grid to the pole and straighten the image. I will leave it here. Next I will use the crop tool and select the custom option and crop out these white parts. this so next I'll go to the light menu and do some standard tuning so here I will decrease the highlights a bit increase the shadows just to get some details back from the darker areas next tuning the whites and the blacks a little Next I will go to the color menu and here I will use the mix button and here you can find the HSL sliders. Here I will be tuning only the blues and the yellows. So blues I will try to make them darker. As I am going for an evening sky I will try to make these darker by reducing the luminance of the blue. And also decrease the saturation a bit. So yellows, I'll move the hues of the yellows towards oranges. Next, I'll be using a bunch of selective filters, selective edit. So I'll go to the selective menu, and here first I'll try to make the top part and the bottom parts darker so I will apply a couple of uh, graduated filters here the first one I will just drag it like this from the top corner and place it here and reduce the exposure to make it darker the same way I will apply one more to the bottom part and reduce the exposure and now I will apply a few radial filters in the sky I will try to make it so that the sunlight is coming from this direction around the right edge so I will increase the exposure here a little here and I will duplicate this by long tapping on the radial filter and duplicate mask and I will place the second one around here here I will just increase the highlights a bit little and one more radial filter I will duplicate it and place it here and for this I will Try to apply some orange color in the color menu. I'll just undo it. I'll try to apply the color using the split tone later. Maybe now I'll go to the effects menu and here the split tone I will apply the oranges on the, the yellowish orange to the highlights a bit of blues on the shadows so you can already see the bit of evening sky coming into effect so I will try to make it more vibrant I will 
increase the vibrance in the color menu so i will go back to the selective filters now here for this red, uh, radial filter i will apply some more oranges and for this as well increase the saturation a bit and i will apply one more radial filter around the rocks here so that the reflection of the light falling on the rocks so i will just increase the whites a bit here on the rocks you can see and maybe a little temperature making it a little more warm one more radial filter around the horizon here on the right edge so here i will try to make it a I'll try to add some fog. To do that, I will go to the effects menu and decrease the slide the dehaze slider to the left. You can see it looks like some haze is getting added here. I'll apply a little haze, dehaze it, and apply this. And next I will go to the light menu and apply some contrast to give the image more punch just brightening the highlights the mid tones and darkening the shadows just tune the colors of the highlights on the split tone and apply this we will apply one more uh, graduated filter around the left side select this and apply here and make it little darker reduce the exposure if you feel this little brighter bright you can always go to the light menu and reduce the brightness reduce the highlights we reduce the exposure for this so you can already see the difference here this is the before and after so i will leave this so this is the before and this is the final edited image so you can see the difference a lot of difference so i'll stop here thanks for watching